Yeah, so let's introduce the players. Do you want to do that? Yeah, we have here in the color red Tato and he's playing India versus um, Total Chaos on the other side of the map in the color blue and he's playing Germany. What do you think about the matchup? I said already something about it. I think overall it's quite a close matchup, maybe slightly Germany favored, but uh, that map, like you mentioned, um, has some livestock, so yaks, and that is quite good for India and I guess on this map it's maybe slightly India favored, but it's quite a close matchup anyway. Um, one thing to take into account is that Total Chaos back herded his stuff, um, like his hands are already, his starting hands m look more like a second hand right now because he just shut them away sadly. Um, well, to be fair, Tato didn't do the um, greatest job at herding, but now he's herding a bit more and that's quite that's actually quite a good herding now, like the the animals are really close to the town center. So if he just shoots one more time on these guys, uh, they will be really in a great spot. And um, well, I'm just worried about about Germany's food situation right now because uh, well, with settler wagons, especially with settler wagons, you don't really want to have some walking time because one settler wagon walking is the same as uh, yeah, and we see two villagers walking. We see that he's um, eating a yak because uh, he back heard it. Sadly. It's kind of early to eat a yak. You might want to wait a bit more that they fatten a bit more, that you get more food out of them. But that, that's kind of okay. Um, eating a second yak, so looks like he's trying to age up really quickly there. Um, Total Chaos just got um, 85 wood treasure. That's quite nice. Uh, yeah, and, and look at this uh, dead elephant here. Oh, wow. Uh, 90 wood already for Tato, but he died for it, I think, so he... Mm, I don't know, I mean, 90 wood is really nice for India, of course, but losing your elephant in H1 is not the greatest. Um, what, let's check what we have left. Uh, there's a stable treasure, that's not something India can take. I don't, I don't think India can ever take this kind of treasure with big treasure gardens. Um, some cab upgrade, and a coin treasure that's nice but not very very interesting uh, there's essentially not so much left on the map I mean there's quite a there's, there's a couple interesting treasures but not very 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 game-changing um, it was a wood start so Germany was able to drop a trading post directly and India is able to age up quite quickly uh, of course still slower than Germany because um, India is one of the sieves, probably the one sieve that ages up the most slowly in the game. Um, but we do have a f kind of forward aggro fort, it's not as forward as it could be, it could be like somewhere here for example, but it is still quite forward, um, so we probably will see some sort of um, sepoy aggression in uh, the colonial age. And uh, meanwhile, Germany is taking a second trading post, so going quite greedy. And he has a market as well. Uh, he already got placed a mind research, and he's shopping for a second trading post. And it's it's pretty greedy. It's pretty greedy. But at the same time, he did get 200 wood start and an 85 wood treasure. So I guess that's uh, gonna help him to get all this stuff up. Uh, gathering now his 400 wood um, age up crates. He did stop gathering wood, so I think he's just gathering the classic 125 wood for Germany to get the steel traps upgrade. Uh, maybe not right now, maybe soon. No, he's getting a steel traps right now. Okay, dropping a barracks. And uh, that's probably some crossbow start. I mean, when you're Germany, you don't have much uh, choice against India. You can't make musketeers, so you usually start with crossbows because, well, pikemen are essentially useless against sepoys, and doppels are a decent unit, but 
still not really what you want to deal with uh, sepoys because they are melee units and sepoys can hit and run them so we're probably gonna see some um, crossbows still nothing in queue though oh well but Sato have some uh, gokas in queue was it sepoys? I'm not sure it's that's sepoys that's sepoys so um, he's going for a classic sepoy rush I, I believe in this yeah he's already housed so I think he got the five sepoy shipment on the way um, so that's probably gonna be as a classic um, 12 sepoy rush so five uh, sepoy shipment, a batch of five sepoys and the two sepoys from Ajab sadly he got maybe house um, I don't know why but either way he didn't get a full batch out that's gonna definitely hurt uh oh wait no, we have mic on. There should yeah, be sound. Yeah, everything fine. Okay, never mind. Uh, someone said we have no sound, but uh, we do have. We maybe. I don't. I'm not sure if we have a Jeff Empire sound, we, but we should have um, microphone sound for sure. Wait, what? What's up there? I think he shipped five sepoys in his stone center. That's uh, pretty painful for for Tato yeah, that's over there. A that's that's a big mistake. Uh, so now he has to wait for his reinforcements and he's not really bringing them right now but he made an extra batch from his agra so it's gonna be a late a late rush but well, he's seven, gonna have quite a few of them i was going to say a seven minute rush it's not so bad um he can for sure make some damage oh well i mean he made oh wait Bobabu, um, Bobabu, by the way, is total chaos. Um, made doubles. Made why, dubs. why would you make dubs with this India? Can you explain this? Hmm, I'm not sure why you would start doubles against an, a forward aggro fort. But, uh, well, we will see how it goes. But that's uh, not looking. I mean, I don't know, like. India was not really rushing, so there is no problem. Right now, Total Chaos is perfectly fine. Like, he didn't get pressured, he doesn't lose any bills, any structures, nothing. But I'm not sure why he would start double still. Like, these guys are pretty useless against this massive sepoys. Oh, oh we got a donation in from. City Speed. <laughs> Silly flower and Godspeed. Thank you for fifty dollars. This is a lot. Oh well, of money. nice donation. Thank you guys. Thanks a lot. Um, yeah, and uh, well, Tattoo is going back. He still has some idle sepoys here. They did kill a couple of Ulans, um, but he's not doing so much right now. He could at least maybe pressure the trading posts here. There is not um, so many units, there are not so many units for Germany defending, so I, I think you could try to get this training post down. It might be a problem for Germany at this point that he didn't hurt so, so much. You see there's another hand here and he didn't uh, bring it under town center. There is another hand here that he again didn't hurt under his town center, so I feel like India could have a potential um, pressure here he could he could probably Germany could probably have a lot of trouble finding some food um, we will see how it goes at the same time Germany has quite a lot of crossbows he just shipped eight crossbows um, he went for quite an all-in build order 700 wood 600 wood eight crossbows double racks so he didn't ship three set of wagons um, but at the same time he has quite a sizable army he has a lot of crossbowmen and he's able to defend the sepoy uh, pressure quite easily but his ego is not the greatest since he uh, skipped the three set of wagon card so now we need to see what the plan for germany is he going to mass and colonia is he going to uh, age up looks like he's going to try to age he's not spending any resource right now he's not he's not making any units so at this point i would say that he's uh, trying to age up 
in general, the other hand, the ship for Star Wars, but not really using them. That's not the greatest. Um, if you ship, if you ship this Star Wars, you want to be pushing with them or at least raid with them. And now he's gonna try to raid. Not the greatest uh, cav unit to raid with, but they do the job. I mean, if you if you find a veal, you will probably kill it with this three cav, even if they're not the strongest. Um, I, I'm not, honestly not sure. Oh, looks like Srisa was kill to Ulans <laughs> still, even if they are so bad against Cav. But uh, Blue is bringing his doppels in. Ah, uh, oh, he got a good swing. So, well, Germany did lose to Ulans, but India lost basically two Sawas worth of HP. So that's kind of okay. And he's aging behind and he does have a stagecoach. India did not pressure this training post, so uh, Germany has basically eight extra villagers from this uh, training post. And that's quite comfortable, especially for Germany, which is a civilization that needs a lot of uh, wood for the houses because they get extra Uland from the shipments and each Uland costs two population space which is what you could call uh, 20 wood because uh, when you have when you need t 10 population space you need 100 wood so yeah Germany needs quite a lot of pop space and these training posts are gonna help him a lot get these houses up now the question is how is it gonna go now uh, oh, oh losing one set of wagon already and a villager and this second set of wagon is not going to die but still that's um, three villagers dead for Germany he didn't ship three set of wagons he still didn't ship that so his eco is really uh, quite a lot behind compared to India India going back already because uh, Germany aged up and he got his shipment in so that's a good time for India to go back I don't think he would be able to fight this army so it's quite a good decision from India to just decide to fall back and um, maybe bust a bit more before going in uh, again but I don't, I'm not sure he's going in again right now so I don't think India can do much at this point Germany still didn't call his Minutemen, so he can still uh, get this uh, 6 Minutemen power spike. And I don't think India can do much about it right now, there's just too many units for Germany. Looks quite bad for India to be fair, he did kill 3 villagers, but at the end of the day Germany just has much more army. So we will see how it goes. Oh, these three oh. kids, and there's going a fight on right now. But I expect another shipment to maybe pop soon for Germany. He, ah, no, wait, he needs to get first this one. So, hmm, Minutemen maybe should come in. He's bringing a couple of villagers into tank and I think that's fine at this point because he got uh, H3 units and if you win this fight Germany uh, is probably gonna win the game and he is co totally going to clean up right now the, the Ulans are like unchallenged uh, there is no anti-cav left basically so and yeah he closed the it's yeah. GG yeah. it's GG So this first round goes to um, Total Chaos. Mm, yeah, it's kind of laggy to be fair, yeah. Um, but we are not dropping frames right now, so I don't think it's from us. You should we let them do a lag test without casters, or? Well, we can do a lag test without casters if they want. Okay, we're, I'm gonna PM them uh, after this game. So yeah, India not really catching up in resources because Germany has, of, of course, a stronger eco early on. Uh, even if he didn't ship the... Wait, well, he did ship the 3 the wagons and I don't know, I missed it, I guess. 
uh, my bad. Uh, but he did get quite a few resources in, and I mean, there's not so much to say about this game. Honestly, I feel like India was just all the time behind, and uh, Germany had much more stuff. And even when Germany was going to H3, he was still matching the mass of India. And then with one shipment in, he was easily outmassing India. And then there was one decisive fight and India lost it. And that was the end of the game. So, yep, let's go out, I guess. Yeah, sorry that I didn't see the three set of wagon shipment. I, I have no idea why I didn't see it, but yeah, he did ship three set of wagons first card. Uh, my bad. I do see total chaos with a yellow ping. So I'm not sure, but it could be the, the lag could be coming from total chaos at this point. I don't think it's any kind of distance lag because. Um, Well, I mean, we are in France right now, and Tato is in Spain, and Total Chaos is, I think, from Switzerland. So that's quite close countries. Um, hmm. Not quite sure. Anyway, it's 1-0 for Total Chaos now, and uh, we're moving on to game 2 out of this best of 3. So it's already match point, it's um, the qualifiers, so that's kind of um, group stages. So you have best of 3, and uh, it's quite close, uh, qu quite fast series, sorry. So Total Chaos might just win next game and win the series, or... Uh, Tato could maybe upset and uh, win a game and then win the next one, we will see. This time, um, Total Cast needs to pick first. Maybe you should tell the, the player. Yep. So I think Germany is the main sieve of uh, Total Chaos, so I'm not, I'm not quite sure what other civilizations um, Total Chaos can play, but I'm pretty sure Germany is his main, which means that he might have trouble, um, he might have more trouble winning the next game 
than he uh, did for the first game. All right, so Tibet is selected, and uh, we need Totakaos to take um, to to pick a sieve right now, and then it's up to Tato to counter pick him. We are, we are right back in um, one or two minutes. No! So it looks like we are going for a French mirror on uh, Tibet. Let's see. We have also on Tibet some uh, yaks around the TP line and in the middle of the map and in the closer, let's say, circle. There are always an 80 or 85 wood treasure. I'm really curious about this. Mirror. Wait, why is he away like this? Did he select the right map? I'm not sure. <laughs> no, I mean, of course, we spawned. Uh, oh, yeah. I don't know, I think he selected the wrong map or he didn't set the. Oh, yeah, he didn't set the uh, observer mode, so. Um, all right, let's rehouse this. Total Boba view. All right. Yeah, he just forget to, to put observer mode. You can, um, now put it in your difficult since we have the UIX maps. Yeah. He probably forgot to. Uh, well, wh what I don't understand is that usually the difficulty is saved between the games, so it should be saved. I'm not sure what happened. And uh, by the way, Tato, he is an Age of Empires 2 player. I'm not sure. Do you know if he's a top player there in this game? Um. I heard that he is quite a good Age of Empires 2 player. I am not sure if he's uh, really a top player or not, but uh, he's quite good, I heard. And, uh, maybe you can ask Soldier Chaos to fix his yellow pin. Okay, Boabu's total gas, he's going to uh, restart his computer, I think. Well, I guess then um, we're gonna take a small break, maybe? We'll be right back to you guys as soon as uh, Total Chaos has uh, restarted his computer and hopefully the lag is gonna get better. And uh, yeah, so stay tuned and uh, see you in five minutes.
So guys, yeah, we are moving on to the next game uh, in this best of three, and we're going again for Tibet. Now this time, uh, Bobabu changed the difficult to observer mode. It was a mistake in the game before, and uh, now I hope we don't spawn. So there we go. It's by the way um, one zero for total chaos. So and we have here a French mirror on the Tibet. Mm -hmm. Waiting for loading. Yeah. This time everything looks fine. They're not spawning. Good. Mm, let's see, maybe there's a problem from Total Chaos side. He pausing the game. Yeah, this is a good idea yes. always to do when there's some lag to put down the graphics yes. and especially the reflection of the games. Uh, this makes mostly the lag. So, there we go. One of them need to unpause. I'm not going to click on it. <laughs> so, there we go. We have here in the color red um, Tato. He's playing French into a mirror on the other side, Total Chaos. And yeah, as I said, it's a mirror because he's also playing French. Um, three X. Uh, spawning in base for both players and we see here some yaks and also here let's check here is a coin treasure and hmm, some small wood treasures around the circle here we have a big wood treasure it's 90 wood it's pretty nice everyone wants to have it So, my co-caster Kaiser Klein is back. Uh, sorry guys, uh, I'm here. So yeah, French Mirror on Tibet. Um, I think France is quite a um, decent pick on this map uh, because of the yaks and the good treasures. Where is the mirror? It's always nice to have uh, an native scout. Yeah, of course it's a mirror, but I mean it's quite understandable that boss players decide sorry, decided to, to pick France at this point because um, it is one of the civilizations I would favor on this map. Um, so what do we have? 40 wood for Tato, uh, 50 wood for Total Chaos, so that's quite close. And there are of course always these level 2 treasures on the middle ring of the map, so 80 foot here. Um, another foot treasure here, a wood, 90 wood treasure here. And the coin treasure, that's quite classic um, on this map. And a batch of two yaks here, a batch of two yaks there. So yeah, um, quite a, a classic matchup of course. Um, France being a pretty classic sieve. The French mirror is also a classic matchup. Uh, usually you see some kind of semi-FF, calf semi-FF, but we might see some variations on this map because uh, it's quite low resources, so maybe maybe players want to bo go a bit more aggressive. Uh, I'm not sure, we will see how it goes. Did you check the hands? Yeah, they are quite fair. Alright, that's good. And um, can you tell us about the new format for the Autumn Championship? We have 
um, the qualifiers. Oh, this you mean? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> so there's kind of like two group stages. I mean, not exactly, but there's first the qualifiers, so it's kind of group stages. I'm sorry, I tricked then you. <laughs> <laughs> then you have the placements. It's um, an, a small tournament, right? Or is it another group stage? Well, you have the qualifiers, and from the qualifiers you have... Um, placements, yes. Yeah, and, and you have 24 players coming from the qualifiers to 24 pre-seeded players. You have overall 40 pre-seed players. 48, yeah. No, not 48, it's 40. 24 and 16 then. Uh, no, in the placement it's 48 players, okay. Uh, so, um, but is it a tournament or group stages? Well, the qualifiers is a group stage, the placement is a group stage. Okay. And after this, we have a bracket of um, 32 players. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, here we are in the qualifiers, which is the first group stage. And then we have a second group stage after. And then we have the main tournament. The reason of this is that people often complain that the tournaments were taking too long. Uh, so we, I mean, they tried to have some... Uh, faster early rounds let's say so more group stages and less real matches and then we select this way 16 players at the end and they will match against um, 16 top players which are seeded already and then we have the real tourney so I hope it will be a bit faster this time because we have seen some tournaments span over um, two um, months or something and yeah, a long time it was too much two and it was three months yeah yeah, it was a really long time and um, maybe with this format we can move on faster and have only an 8 weeks tournament and that um, our top players don't need to wait too long to play out their games without any delay. Yeah, right. I have to say that myself I'm not 100% aware of the format because I am uh, playing only in the main tournament so I didn't uh, pay so much attention to what's up before but yeah it's 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 quite a good uh quite quite a good idea to make it a bit faster um total chaos already hit colonial so yeah, a bit a bit faster than uh than uh, Tato. Yeah, he aged up faster. That's a, for a regular 14 age up for Total Chaos. He made a livestock pen in transition. That's interesting, but some of his yaks are sadly not fattening right now. I guess he forgot about them. Starting Sable, which is very standard. Tato aging with 15 CDBs, which is um, not standard. It's not something you see uh, usually for friends. And now f gathering his 400 wood age up crates and we will see what he drops. If he drops a stable or a rex or maybe nothing at all. Alright, we already have two rexes going down here. Yeah, this looks like um, a rush. Can you tell us more about this strategy, what this um, Tato doing? There's a classic build order, right? An old one. Uh, well, we will see how he does it, but it's usually 700 wood first to get the houses and stuff. But I don't know. He has already quite a lot of food banks, so he might go for four CDBs first or something else. We will see. Uh, but it's, in my opinion, not very good. But at the same time, if it's not scouted, okay, it's a crossbow pike build, so he will definitely go for seven wood first to get some big batches out. He's not shopping right now, which I would question. I don't think he will get his batches of pikes in time. So we might see five crossbows and two pikemen against some hearse. Sadly, only two hearses from Total Chaos. That's kind of weird. <laughs> um, I Good don't match. I don't know how he did that. What can happen? But oh, there are five. crossbows and pikes, so they can definitely fight this um, two hearses. Yeah, uh, he is gonna be fine. Sounded really good for uh, Tato came in time and he was able to get his p batch of units out. But I, I'm really not sure why Bobabu got only two hearse out. Well, he dropped also a Rax and he have uh, a pen for his yaks. 
We have six yaks. Oh, two, tra two training posts as well. Yeah, this looks um, very greedy from Total Chaos, yeah. It's pretty greedy, but at the same time, Tato was aging 15, so that's uh, 30 seconds later than the regular French age up. So that's giving a lot of time to Total Chaos. And well, this rush is not very scary. Let's face it, seven minutes, he got only five pikes and five crossbows in the blue base. There are more units on the way, but I feel like Total Chaos could just ship an eight crossbow shipment at this point and be totally fine. Yeah, but he don't have a shipment on the way because he shipped 700 coin after four CDVs. Yep, but it might be fine. Tato needs to make some damage right now and we see that uh, Total Chaos is escaping his yaks and his CDVs there in the back. Um, in the why? Chaos. Why would you Why would you do that? I mean, he got a pen so he can keep fattening his stuff, right? The point of spending 200 wood on this building is, is to get your, your livestock fat. So I'm not sure why you would take it off the pen before it's really fat. I guess if he was feeling like he really needed the food right now, but I don't think he does, to be honest. I don't think he does need the food right now. He's fine right now anyway. I uh, got a couple of hussars and enough musketeers and minutemen to defend this pressure, I think. Couple of crossbows here, slowly killing a CDB. Might take it down. Nope. He's pulling back. Oh no, that's not good for Red. He decided to try to take this fight. You don't want to be fighting Minutemen when they still have a lot of HP left. They are slowly losing their HP and you don't want to fight them when they're full HP. And you see all these spikes died so quickly. And now there's a couple of hustlers left and uh, Tato is going to be cleaned up there. And that's pretty much GG. I mean, Tato was all in. He didn't ship 4 CDBs and he invested into a lot of uh, units. But he didn't pay off since he was directly crushed and now um, Total Chaos can just ship like 600 gold in a job or even just ship 8 crossbows and push he can do pretty much anything he wants at this point and win the game he can push, he can age uh, doesn't really matter, he's just way ahead Tato coming back in but he has basically no anti cav I mean, yeah, he has five pikes. But if Bobabu doesn't waste his hussars, five pikes are just not enough to, to kill his hussars. Um, Tato is going back, just staying here. Yeah, it looks not so good for Tato. Um, no. He don't have such a great economy. Well, he shipped now for CDBs, but still, he's behind in unit um, population. Yeah, he's quite ahead in eco actually. It looks like Bobabu was not making villagers all the time. He skipped quite a few CDBs and he's three CDBs behind. But he has just so much more army and he has this livestock pen which did uh, bring him a lot of food income. 600 wood from Total Chaos, so looks like he's not gonna age up right now. Well, he does have two training posts, so I guess he can afford to ship a lot of stuff in Colonial. Even if he wants to age up behind, he already got almost the shipment ready. So... We will see. I'm curious to see if Total Chaos is gonna try to push in Colonial to age up. At this point, I would say he should probably age. He just needs to herd this back under his town center. And then he will have enough food to be safe. If he doesn't herd, uh, he might have a problem. But oh yeah, his CDBs are back herding this. This is very painful. This hand is getting really, really far away from the town center, and that's not what you want when you try to age up. Yeah, so his CDBs there are not in a safe spot. Exactly. But I'm not sure if he wants to wage. He's spending resources right now, so it looks like he's gonna stay colonial. And he's queuing one house. He made a batch of three house. I guess he can hit a nice timing if he gets a batch of crossbows out, maybe. Um, or even musketeers and just make some more hussars and ship 8 bows or 3 hussars and then right click. And I think then he would just completely clean up the right player. Sorry, food. Okay, so he's shipping more crates. 
That's not actually what Boba wants to do right now. Like Total Chaos got less eco, so he doesn't really want to be. Uh, he doesn't really want to be shipping crates and massing because if he tries to outmass, it will not work. Oh, he research stagecoach on this side. Is this a mistake? I think he made a mistake. He wanted to upgrade stagecoach on this side because he got two trading posts. But he did it on the on the left side, and now he's already losing his uh, training post there. But at the same time, he's gonna clean up this red army in the front base. Yeah, this looks really not so good for Tato. The Mesquites are getting a good trade, but it's not enough. Yeah, while he was sieging there as a, a trading post, he got cleaned up on his front base, and now he might lose his front base. Yes, yeah, this front base is essentially dead right now. Like, there's no way Tato can ha can can defend this. He's trying to raid with his units and run in the back, but he's not gonna do so much with them. It's also quite a small map. I mean, it's not a really a small map, but the rush distance is short. There's really not a long distance between the red and the blue base, which means that even if blue is sitting here, he can co go back in no time on this spot or on this spot in his base to defend a potential push from red um, so i don't think red is gonna do so much he's trying to age up himself meanwhile but he's um so far behind in military that i'm afraid he's gonna get right clicked this is kind of a classic situation where you try to age when you lost your front base and you lost your units and you just hope that somehow you will be able to reach H3 and, and get some units out to defend. But I think at this point, blue should be able to just right click this town center and get it down. Tato rebuilding two barracks in his base. But, hmm. He's getting a, a couple kills here. I think the CDBs as well. Uh, I'm afraid it's not going to be enough. Total Chaos is not going for the TC, he's trying to get the houses down to to house um, Tato and he's housing him, so that's gonna be quite a tough situation. At this point Tato needs to chop a lot of wood to get the houses back and when you chop so much wood for houses you can't get units out basically. So I don't know how he's gonna come back from hi this um, military gap here. Um, I don't think he can. Even if he gets like an 8 skirmish shipment or 5 dragoons, I don't see. Yeah, okay, now he got a 5 skirm pop and and uh, 8 skirm shipment and 6 minute men, but. Yes, yeah, there are also on top some units um, on the way, but I, I don't think that they will be in time because these hustlers might clean up the skirmishers. He need to focus the hus with the skirmishers, and now the skirmishers get cleaned up by the hustlers. Um, there are more coming hus. Doesn't matter what he's com uh, focusing, I think he's getting cleaned up anyway. If only these units were here um, when he was aged up, he could have maybe covered his skirmishers, and then with the range of the skirmishers, he would be able to hit and run the blue musketeers. But sadly, these units were out of position on the map, just running, and that's not what you want. Uh, yeah. It looks like it was quite laggy, but sadly, well, that's how it goes. Um, it was a big mistake from Tato to just walk on the map. When you are aging up, I think you want to have your units in your base ready to defend the push. Because these 13 skirmishers uh, pop, plus um, the Minutemen, and all this mass of anti-cavalry, I, I think Tato could have maybe been okay uh i don't know if he would win the game but i think he would be able to hold this push at least i think we can see it maybe in the graphs like yeah red was behind in military but not so much the problem is that all this military the 22 units here were running on the map and not actually fighting so with this amount of h3 units well, not all of them were H3, but the skirmishers at least were veteran. So with this amount of better units against this amount of um, 
inferior units I think red could have been maybe okay but yeah we will never know because he was running on the map so he just lost the game so lag was uh, not the greatest but um, I think it didn't matter honestly because well red couldn't cover his commissions anyway so it was pretty much game over and then of course red was gathering out of base so next blue would just uh, right click here or even there or anywhere and just deny the resources and then red would be out of resources and would not be able to make any units and he would just lose the game anyway so yeah gg that's uh two zero for total chaos and uh, he will move to the placements i guess yes um I, i'm not sure i'm not sure he needs to play versus other players yeah we need to check but uh, basically he might go to the placement or depends if you already won the other series or not um i think you need to win to against two or three other players in the placements to move on to the to and in the qualifier sorry to move on to the placement um anyway he did win this match so that's well played from total chaos and uh we will move on to the next series soon